Year 5, Unit 4, School Subjects World Class, a project by Liam Murphy By Teacher Saz Good morning everyone Today, we are learning to Read text and identify the differences between schools around the world Answer questions related to text correctly. Before that, let's have a brainstorm session. What do you like about your school? There are many interesting things that you can enjoy at your school. Now we are going to listen to the recording on World Class Project by Liam Murphy. You can refer to your student book on page 44. Listen carefully. This is a geography class in Bangladesh. The students are studying on a boat school. It's a great idea because transport can be a big problem here when there's a lot of rain. The boat isn't moving at the moment, but at the start and end of the day, it goes along the river to the students' villages. Eton College is one of Britain's oldest and most expensive private schools and it looks like the students are wearing Britain's oldest, most expensive uniforms. Not very practical. They're walking to a lesson. This is a boarding school. Students study, eat and sleep here. These students in a Chinese primary school aren't sleeping. They're having a break from their maths class and they're doing eye exercises. It's important to relax your eyes when you're studying and students in China do these exercises twice a day. This is my secondary school in Ireland. We're having a dance class and it's a lot of fun. There are a lot of traditional dances in Ireland. I'm not dancing. I'm watching the dancers. Our teachers are playing the musical instruments. Now, did you notice the word with different colours from the text? What is the meaning of the bold words? The bold words are Boat school, private school, primary school, and secondary school. Boat school is the school on a boat. Private school is the special school for more specific education. Primary school is the school for kids at the age of 5 to 12 years old while secondary school is the school for teenagers at the age of 13 to 17 years old. Now, which school is your favourite? As for me, I love my primary school in Malaysia, where I can learn how to recite prayers every time before the lesson starts. I miss my school so much. Please refer to your teacher for extra homework and exercises. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Thank you everyone.